All the athletes that come from Manukau that have achieved at the highest level have all come from the same grassroots. I mean, they've all had to start from somewhere. They've been nurtured by somebody, they've had to tap on the shoulder. They've had all the support, and then finally they've made it. He got his chance, taking on Lennox Lewis. And David Tua fighting against the world champion and going the full round without being knocked out. Even though he lost that, that fight, to get the fight for the, the biggest title in the world, the sporting title in the world, you know, that's something else. Tim and uh, then the Silver Ferns that year. I think she was the catalyst for that for that final win. And I think Tim was the was the difference at the World Champs in Jamaica, and when they won the gold medal in Melbourne, the third time lucky. I wish everyone could experience running out onto a field in an All Black jersey, because it's the best feeling. It's the best feeling in the world. A great try for Eric I made my first big break in rugby at East Tamaki Rugby. Uh, John Hart, the Auckland coach, came to watch another team play against us. They had three All Blacks in their team, we had none. So I figured, uh, you know, this is an opportunity. <laughs> Jonah is just a great example of, of what can happen in this community. You know, he's, uh, he's a Māngere born and bred boy. He was in a bit of trouble as a, as a youngster, but once he got his teeth into something, he's no looking back. It, to me, he's probably the most well-known New Zealand sportsman in the world. Who can forget Jonah Loma pushing the English rugby players as he would strode through to get the magnificent try, not just once but two or three times. That'll live in the memories of all of us. To have role models like Jonah for our Monaco kids um, is only a good thing. It was the day Valerie's our hero and uh, you know I think she's done outstandingly well. Yes. Thank you, Dad. I think Valerie's a, a great a great role model for the community because she, she lives here, she works here, David too is the same, Frank Bunce. They're all very visible still in the community. Ruben Wiki's the same. There's probably so many champions of potential in Manukau City that we just don't know of. What we've got to do is get the numbers and get the kids off the streets, into clubs, the school teachers looking after them, after school programs, just getting them to participate in sport. I started running at Jellicoe Park, which was in Manurewa, and that was my club for 20 years. And the thing is, when you're a young kid, you don't know whether you're going to be good or bad. I never knew that I was going to be a champion, but I was put in the right direction. I got a coach, and I was nurtured and finally I made it. John Walker uh, winning the 76 gold medal, 1500 metres. It's one of those moments everybody remembers where they were at the time. To see him lift his arms when he ran through the finishing tape, just a great, just put everybody on the high, the whole country, and uh, I still remember it to this day. Olympic champion, John Walker. So you've got to have a lot of luck, you've got to be in the right place at the right time. You've got to have that tap on the shoulder just to say, would you like to come along? And if you say no, you might regret it for the rest of your life. Luckily I said yes when I was at intermediate school, I want to be a runner. People say to me, I never had the opportunity. Well we're going to give people the opportunity. <laughs>